Hi, um, I was just actually randomly going across YouTube, you know, just, you know, surfing the internet or whatever, just seeing what's out there. And, you know, there's a lot of videos these days on condemning the, you know, black man, you know, about, you know, crimes and what have you, and that they, and then the fact about, you know, they'll never amount to much. Um, I ran across a video recently, I know this is like a very, you know, old video that you made. You know, and I happened to look at your response to her video that was made. And even though it was some time since the video was made, you know, since the uh, posting is still active, I figured I'd go ahead and put my two cents in there. From your reaction to that video, you really missed the entire point, or I should say the message that this lady, this talented lady, actually brought across, it went totally over your head. The reason why I say that is because I look at the reaction of you know not only you but your cousin who actually responded to the video I mean he his response to the video I mean it's like he's about to pop a blood vessel out of his head because he really thinks that this lady is putting him down as a black man and really if you really have a chance I would encourage you to go back and listen to that video and really listen to what this woman is saying she is not putting you down as a black man. Now, really, to tell you the truth, in all honesty, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt here because when I first actually heard the video and I first, you know, listened to it for the first time, I started to get defensive myself because I was like, okay, who is this woman to sit here and stereotype black men to say that they're not going to be nothing? You know what I mean? She had some pretty healthy four-letter words that she used in there, but I digress. But getting back to my point is that who is she to tell me that I am she doesn't even know me and it would be wrong for her to stereotype all black men and say that they're not going to be much or they're not going to amount to much you really miss what this lady was actually portraying or what she was delivering overall concept of what she was trying to get across to the people that actually have a chance to view her video and the concept or the the what she was trying to bring across is that you have to be careful about the words that you speak, especially on young children. What you have to understand is that when children are young, their minds are like sponges. They're absorbing all information about what's going on in the outside world, what people are saying, how people talk, the manner of speech, you know, and, and all in the process of growing up, and especially in their minds is still developing, they're able to pick up and actually develop and transform themselves into what people are saying about them and really to me that method is very powerful I believe that is an excellent piece of work that lady should actually have a Nobel Prize because of what she said you have to be careful about the words that you speak especially over young children words are powerful and it goes back to the book of Proverbs you know it says that you know you have the power to speak life and death in your tongue you have to be careful about the type of curses or the type of blessings or whatever that you speak over these young children because the minute it comes out of your mouth, it becomes like it, it, it takes effect. And you know, and you cannot take those words back. Think about it. This lady brought, I mean, the way she illustrated and how she said the, how, how the typical black woman speaks negativity over her child all because of what another black man may have done to her. She's saying that the children's going to grow up not to be much because of what their dad may have done. He's, he's going out sleeping or being with other women, so guess what? I'm not going to expect much out of this child, too, because the child's going to grow up to be just like their daddy. How many times have you actually heard young ladies say that about other children that they may be babysitting? Or maybe even if you have children, maybe somebody may have said that over something about, something about you know, to that effect to your child, if you have any. I mean, a lot of people were so quick to jump on there and criticize the video, but I say to all of them, the message went completely across their head. They actually missed the entire point of what the lady was trying to express. And really, she did it in a very explicit, yet creative way. Because the way she's talked, is like she's speaking about how all most modern-day black women talk about black men. And really, to tell you the truth, I mean, it was the truth. I mean, I had to sit there and replay that thing over and over and over again because this lady here, I mean, you can tell she she put a lot of thought into what she said. 
she carefully crafted the words of what she wanted to convey so you could actually understand what it is and why it is that most of these young black people the way that she wanted to let you know the reason why they're behaving the way that they're behaving these days it's not the fact that she supports what these black women are saying it's the fact that she's letting you know that this is the reason why most young black men are behaving the way that they're behaving it's because years ago or years earlier when they were still toddlers or young you know or just you know developing coming into knowing what life is all about these women the ones who are supposed to care for them and love them and speak good things on these lives they're sitting up there doing just the opposite because of they of what they experienced at the hands of another black man you cannot expect good things to come when you keep speaking negativity that's pretty much what she was saying also in so many words your words have power what you speak that is what's going to happen you have to understand that and it's actually very offensive when you as a black man really can't grasp what she's saying that's why I say it's very it's very important that before you actually speak that you think twice about the words especially when you're posting a response to these videos because she was not attacking the quote unquote she was not attacking the black man she was letting you know the reason why these young black children, why they grow up to do the things that they do, is the reason because of the stuff that was spoken over their lives earlier in their childhood. Like I said, I give her high praise for that video. I mean, like, I mean, there's nothing else more that I could say about it than to give her praise for that video because it took a lot of, it took some time to make. I mean, and like I say, it's not, I'm not jumping and, you know, down in the black man because, of course, I'm a black man. But, you know, even with, you know, the bitter mama, you know, she's fed up. She's angry. She's had enough because of how, quote, unquote, black men are treating the young children. How they're neglecting them. How they're not being there for their children. How they're putting them off on you know the wife or the girlfriend so they can go out and do whatever they want to do that is not how you raise a child and see she was speaking from an angry woman's point of view but even in speaking from an angry woman's point of view she still wanted you to know that it's okay to be angry but you still have to watch what comes out of your mouth because just as sure as it comes out of your mouth in anger and I'm guilty of it as well because I said some things you know that out of the moment of heat of anger that I can't take back. As sure as you say it, that's what's going to come to pass. That's what she was trying to express. And I actually have to constantly come and actually listen to and look at the views and the, the comments on the video. And for the most part, a lot of people are just missing the concept. If you would listen to the end part of that video before she closed out, I encourage you. To listen to that end part of that video. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna put that on a bulletin, and I'm gonna post that because that is very. That is that is a good piece of work. Words are powerful, and once you speak it, you can't take it back. You know, so you know, take it for what it is. I'm not jumping on you for you know it may seem like I'm angry with you but I'm not angry with you I just want you to understand I want you to open your eyes and really see what message is being portrayed because it is not what you think it is it's actually something much deeper than that alright <laughs>